Alright, alright, alright. Hey YouTube, Skills here, and today's video, you know, since it is April the 1st, well now becoming the 2nd since it's 2 o'clock right now, I wanted to make a special video about a year later after my original main account was banned. So, for those who are new today, for those who are newly subscribed, or for those who I I just met uh, you notice or who have been with me or for those who have been with me since hmm, since uh, the first time I've been at YouTube or for those who were yeah, or um, been with me since PS4 uh, error I really thank you for helping me out so yeah, so today's video I wanted to express it expects my opinion and you know, my opinions about it and how did I came back from the dead pretty much well yeah you know, well well I do have a mind for those who had known my original name was originally epic skills of J hey but I but it wasn't started as epic though as I added it if my original my original first uh, online name was actually Skills of J. Hey, before years later, before years later uh, during the PS4, I think release season two Tekken Seven. I re I added Epic to it because Epic is like one of my favorite slang words. I n I normally says I normally say Hey, this is gonna be epic. Today is gonna be an epic day for me. <laughs> it's normally. It's one of my favorite slang words uh, that I normally start out with. Yeah, but it. But speaking of, but speaking of saying epic slang words, I wanted to make an expression. So for those that know me for a long time, like a long time, it's like I said. It's like I said. Yeah, my name is. You know, originally was Skills of J. Hmm, until one day I had to change my name to well of a dynasty warrior named Wu Zaltai. It's not because of, it's not because of anything. It's just I felt like I was under it. My main account was like under attack, so I had to change. I had to change my name uh, to Wu Zaltai. Yeah, to make to make sure that you know nobody. And nobody knows who who is Wu Za who is Wu Zaltai, and I just disappeared, and I just disappeared and bounced. However, my however though, that wasn't clearly it. The first one, the first one was a weak ban off of a PlayStation One, I believe. Hmm. Hit. I believe. So basically, you got three you know, three chances off of PlayStation. Yeah, you know, PlayStation. And then it's and then you'll get like permanently you know, permanently banned and you had to give up your account. You know, that account you had to give up. So apparently the lack to make it short, my last account was like on its last stand and I was afraid I was gonna like lose every you know, lose everything. And the reason why it got banned and I had like people and before I even say the reason why it got banned, uh, now first off, do you remember the bots? I believe there's like bots these days that PlayStation will just fail to handle. Yeah, handle sometimes. There's sometimes be bots around, like scam bots or something like that. They don't really, they don't really like check out your profile. They don't really like check out your profile. They just send you a friend request you know, or something. So I turn. I made sure I said t uh, friend request, friend request only, so that way I will know which one, you know, which of these bots uh, do they actually play or something. So I had to take. So I then had to take the deep look at it. And it was just bots like saying random names or just want to send you crazy messages or something like that, something random. But, and, and apparently if you sent the message, it's like 
I believe this is my ultimate theory, and I don't really care about anyone else's theory about how I, how my main account got, it got banned because you know I'm a kind. To be honest, I'm a kind-hearted person. I know, I don't bother people. I don't frustrate people unless I get trick, I get triggered, and I have just dipped out. Oh. My ultimate. My ultimate theory about this was is the bots around PlayStation were after in my main account. I, the main reason are the bots uh, that try to scam you and doing and uh, trying to get you to do inappropriate uh, do inappropriate stuff otherwise they just uh, report reported your account uh, to be ban uh, ban worthy. I really I really don't see. I really don't see. I didn't see this one coming, but I believe if you just message it like a single bot, yeah, bot. I guess they just reported hit you and just be like, and they'll create it, and they'll continue to create multiple and multiple, multiple bot, yeah, bots uh, until like enough is enough. Yeah, it's so like enough is enough. I had to put my settings to friends only, so that way they can message me. And then after that, my friend uh, friend requests was closed. Friend request was closed due to bots attacking. Since I felt like I was being attacked by bots. So in other words, so in other words, nobody couldn't friend request me until the until the bots were all calmed down. And then after that. Then after that, everything was settled. Everything was settled down, but except for the cases uh, that I was like continuously got report, I got continuously got reported, and I believe I was continuously got reported. Like I said, mainly because of bot. This is my opinion. And boof. So by the time my main account was banned, a whole con my main account was banned. There was a whole bunch of a conversation of ah oh, you should have moved to X, ah oh, you should have at least moved moved to Xbox and yeah Xbox uh, why not on just Xbox and PlayStation but I just I just ignore all of those uh, all of those because I know they're just jealous and even if I was on and even if I was getting on well trying to get Xbox which I'm never going to be I'd still be dominating over there no matter what so. <laughs> It's really pointless to ask me to hmm, give up on PlayStation, because you know PlayStation. I've been with PlayStation since baby life. I haven't gave up on it. it and it really, and I really extremely did. I really. This is this is me, okay. I see Xbox as just a second placer finish line. <laughs> That's how much like. I show myself in my real FaceTime if you haven't seen the video. If you've never seen the video before, I show you the classic games and uh, what Xbox doesn't have. Yeah. And like such as Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, 3, Team Racing, Grand Turismo 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, Tekken 1, 2, 3. He, you get the picture? All of it is. It's kind of pointless to move on to uh, to Xbox, uh, or should I just say Slowbox 360? <laughs> but anyways, we're not talking about uh, console wars and anything. Um, so after that, I try to re I try to repeat appeal the ban, but it seems like PlayStation said no, you uh, you fudged up. You got enough people reported you enough, up so enough is enough. Yeah. Uh, you know, go make a new account and make new friends. Go and this is what stuck in my mind. Go make a new account and make new friends. I'll repeat it one more time. Go make a new account and make new friends. When I just hear, of, I'm sorry, but when I just hear that line, I, I, I believe that complete. That one completely backfired real fast because I, because I retained well, pretty much most of my friends on this main, on this main account. I even announced it back, 
you know, back in 2021 that I was available until I was available until up until you know, the next month and then after that it will be closed and then next month then a few weeks later hey I'm available yeah you know, if I'm yeah you know, please friend request me if you remember me as epic skills of J hey you know, I don't do it anymore I I don't really do it anymore though as it was kind of a waste of it was kind of a waste of breath a little bit and I'm just wasting my time and energy doing posting on YouTube a little bit but in the meantime I was doing my best to get every yeah, everyone back yeah, that I originally that I originally lost on my main uh, for my main account but I'm sorry go out there and make new friends again again other those terms uh, that one of the PlayStation staff or one of the employees said it uh, to me on the phone it was completely backfired because uh, because thanks to hmm, thanks to the people that I'm going to mention here uh, Zenji yeah, Bursa uh, Saber yeah, Saber Wolf Craze Ninja Roro you can oh oh even though we're yeah, even though we're kind of in the middle of a war going on but I just want to tell you guys uh, thank you for helping me uh, helping me uh, get myself back together uh, now during at the horrendous tour now during at this horrendous time I was like in a complete rampage now I wasn't too worried about like games like Tekken 7 crash yeah uh, crash bandicoot crash t Crash Team Racing, even though I do lost all cosmetic including my Nitro Girl female. Yeah, you get the picture. The Trophy Girls. I lost everything about that one, but I didn't really worry about that because I know I was going to get them back because that's how I'm, how much of a diehard fan am I. And same goes with Grand Turismo Sports. You know, I am... Same goes with Gran Turismo Sports, but I was going to do more of that. But unfortunately, when Gran Turismo 7 was announced, I stopped. And, and last but not least, Tekken 7. Because how strong I am and how good of a player I am with mostly Law, Katarina, Leroy, Smith, and, and Negan, etc., etc., I really didn't care if I lose all, you know, all of my... if I lose everything. I'm, I was going to catch up to higher ranks regardless anyways. But, games like Warframe, Destiny 2, well, first off, Destiny 2. Destiny 2, I was hit hard. I was hit hard the most with Destiny 2 and Warframe. Because, not only, not only I lost everything, I lost all my, I lost all Prime Warframes, I lost all my Prime Weapons, I was head back to Master Rank Scrub, number, and number zero. Yeah, zero, and then, yeah, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm gonna start off at Destiny 2. I basically lost everything, including the divinity, uh, divinity, and it's just, it was just utter. I was just utter sad. And I really hope, <laughs> I really hope, uh, Bungie sometimes would bring back the classic, uh, la like armor. Like layered armor, I would say. Well, you know, something layered armor, because I really do miss those those armor. Like I said, foam, foam for new light players. Ugh. But anyways, but anyways, enough of that. Destiny 2 was eh, was one of the games that hit me hard because I lost all the exotic weapons. Now exotic weapons are mostly you know, are sometimes mostly in the kiosk but but yeah but now but today I did I did do something better than my original account by just doing yeah, by just doing raids and only concentrate on getting the Vex mythical class on the first try out of nowhere I question you RNG I question you RNG but unfortunately and then I had to do keep on doing raids continuous after continuous after continuous and being a raidaholic and I was like I do not like I do not like this raid at all 
I don't like doing raids at all. It is too stressful, especially when, you, especially when you're doing LFG, aka looking for guardians. It was painful. So, I got basically I got everything back in Destiny 2, including my, including my stasis subclass and my subclass. As everything else, I got uh, I got it returned to me, except for exotics. If except for some exotic weapons and that are left in the kiosk. But there was some that I didn't need or some that I there was some that I didn't need or need or want in the first place. At least anyways. But it it, it was worth but it was worth getting the Vex Mythical class and getting the Terrible from Destiny 2. For those who play Destiny 2. Because it it was, hey, I was trying to do something better than I have it done on my main account. Oh, and not to, and not to mention, and not to mention, this was during season of the chosen that I came back and I had to, and I do admit I had to spend, I spend it like a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars just to get all the season, just get all the season pass, pass and the armor. This was before Witch Queen. Yeah, this is before season of the season of the lost. This was before season of the lost. So I managed to re-get everything back where I originally was. Is uh, and then no, this was before season of the splicer. So I got everything back, and then I truly returned from the season of the splicer. That's where really, yeah, that's where I began to left off at Destiny Two. Basically, I came back at the price of losing. I basically caught up in Destiny 2 at the price of losing my soul and life too. I went on a no life spree on Destiny 2, but the ultimate no life spree was on Warframe. Since I lost everything, my prime Warframes, my prime weapons. And, and even the helmet system. Um, I had to. Uh, I went on a complete no life stream, like basically from April, from April to twenty. Uh, by the end of twenty twenty one, I went through Master Rank zero to twenty under before the end of the year. But out at the price of me becoming completely burnt out from war from playing Warframe, I was like so, I was like so 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 burnt out that I just literally decided after I did the night wave I'd take a a good month off of Warframe, a good month or two off of Warframe because that was severe. That was like a complete no life move. Ooh. And hopefully I don't go through this again. And <laughs> so, for those that are wondering, are you still going to be called uh, Skills? I say yes. You can still call me. You can still call me Skills. But meanwhile, the name of the second account, second account, I wasn't truly, I wasn't truly sure uh, what I was going to name. It was originally Wu Sun uh, Sun Quinn, and then. When I play Warframe so much, I, and my first Warframe love was Excalibur, I would say this is my official name known as Wu Excalibur Umbra. The Wu based off a of Dynasty Warrior and the Excalibur Umbra, like I have right here, and it's a color red, head, is a Warframe. So that's how I came up with the awesome. I came up with an awesome name, and I changed the name of the YouTube. I changed the name of the YouTube channel to Wu Excalibur Umbra, without even, well, without even um, making you know. I said, all right, all right, all right. Hey, hey, YouTube. Hey, YouTube. Skills here. I will, even if I'm like Wu Excalibur Umbra, regardless, I'm. Hey, I am still epic skills of J up until this day. This, and I hope I never, 
I hope I never get a ban hammer again. Otherwise, it's going to be a n yet another no life spree, and <laughs> it won't it won't end up like this. Yes. Yes. So that ex so that explains why I why I name myself Wu Excalibur Umbra huh, and everything else. I yeah, but fellas, uh, that is it for tonight. I'm a little bit tired and I need to go to sleep, of course. <laughs> this explains this is a special talk about how I managed to survive how I managed to get back to myself together on PlayStation. And again and this is this is Wu Excalibur Umbra. Hey, get some new friends. And signing off. Later.